Hello and welcome back to a brand new vlog. My name is Orion and I make videos every single Wednesday and Sunday at 6 p.m. However, it is very rare that I use this bad boy to make them. But today I thought we'd sit down here and just introduce myself and what is going on in my life currently because a lot has happened over the last six months. So before we crack open the tools and get to work on the flat, grab yourself a cup of tea and buckle in because I have got quite the story to tell. Now, usually we don't live where you can currently see me right now. I actually live in a two bedroom apartment in a place called Warwick. And about three months ago, we found out that the building is not fire safe. So rather annoyingly, they asked us to decant the building and go live in an Airbnb where you can see me today. And we've been here for about two and a half months now and they're looking to move us back there towards the end of February. So whilst we've been here over the Christmas period, they have been working on the flat. They actually covered all of the carpets in some plastic film so they don't get damaged and they started ripping holes in the ceiling to basically put a protective line between our flat and the flat above us. Now we were told the only work that needed to be done was in our corridor. However, they actually ended up going into the lounge and into the kitchen as well and ripping out walls in the kitchen. It's, it's been very bizarre. Since they've done that work, they have told us now that the only thing that is left to do is to fix the mold issue that we have in all of the windows because the condensation buildup has actually created some black mold around the window seals and they want to replace our front door with fire doors. Once this work is all completed, we are free to go back and live at the flat. However, it is incredibly dusty from all of the work that they've been doing, and the place is just generally not pleasant to live in at the moment because of the work that's been going on. So we've been making the most of our time at this Airbnb. I actually have an office in the basement downstairs where I predominantly spend most of my time working on edits for Tom. Uh, if you don't know, that's what I do for a living. I work for a YouTuber called uh, Syndicate, or Life of Tom is a channel I predominantly actually edit for. And then I also do a lot of streaming because I still enjoy gaming. I'm a big gamer and you can follow my Twitch channel down in the link below. However, like I said, I don't usually film on this camera. So let's switch back to the iPhone and get back to what we know. Oh boy, this feels way more natural. Don't get me wrong, this setup is sick. And I do use it every week. However, it's just not quite the same as holding your phone out and vlogging. This thing is much easier to film with. All right, now that you have a better idea of what my home life is like, let's step away from the desk, grab my coat, jump in the car, and do what I usually do, which is go out, explore the outdoors, and go for a walk. Now, normally, I would actually have my family with me, but my partner, Jess, has gone to go pick up my son, who's currently at a friend's house for a sleepover. So I get to enjoy this beautiful sunset over Warwick Castle by myself. Not a bad view, if I do say so myself. I am fully aware at this point, by the way, that for everyone who has been a long-term subscriber and around for a while, this is nothing new to you guys. You know, I do this kind of stuff all the time with an added waterfall but seeing as though YouTube featured us on trending page like honestly I can't I still can't get over how crazy that actually is I thought I would do a little introductory video and catch everyone up to what's going on with my situation at the moment so as lovely as that sunset is let's head on over to the flat to review the situation but boy oh boy I cannot wait for the days to get longer so I could enjoy more of the outdoors I am definitely beginning to feel like a bit of a broken record constantly talking about what time the sun goes down but dude it's like three o'clock and it's getting darker already like it's just not really very good for vlogging. I don't get much time during the day to actually go out and do things. However, we are making the most of the time that we do have and trying to be as productive as humanly possible. Which means coming back to this place, collecting some posts, which is a response about a parking ticket I received at the Airbnb I'm staying at. I did dispute it and they actually, uh, they waived the charge because I did actually have a, uh, a valid permit in the windscreen. I don't even know why I got a penalty for it. At least I don't have to pay that, but I'm, I don't know what this is. It's been sellotaped together. Let's open it and see what's inside. Oh. It's a charger. I'm not entirely sure who has sent this and or why. There isn't a note in the envelope, uh, and I don't believe I was owed a charger, but, well, we've got a new iPhone charger. And I have also realized I've been gone for that long that there is no electric in my apartment. Hmm, might have to pay the bills. But anyways, I thought I'd come back here to kind of showcase some of the stuff that we've got to get going with. As in the last vlog, I laid out a step-by-step -step plan of all the things that we're going to be doing with the vlog. And in the next vlog coming up, we're going to be commencing the work on the flat, which is basically clearing things out. Jess needs to go through and organize all of her like crafting things. I need to help Benjamin go for his toys and figure out what he's going to be keeping and what's going to be going. And then also making sure that the repairman has access to all of the windows so he can get rid of the black mold that we've got going here. And oh, don't even get me started with my desk. 
it might not seem like that much to do, but when you consider like removing sofas and removing stuff that you've you've kind of hoarded for like five years, it does take quite a long time to do all of that, let alone the cleaning that we have to do here. Obviously all of the dust removal that we've got to do along with cleaning the carpets, I am actually gonna get like a rug doctor type thing in to clean the carpets, soak them through and try and make this place feel as homely as possible because with the black mold and the damage that's happened to the flat because it's been poorly built over the last how many years, it's just not very safe to be here with my family right now. So we're trying to stay in the Airbnb for as long as, as, as humanly possible, really. We were actually meant to come back to the flat at the end of January, but that's been extended again by a month because I don't want to move back here whilst they're still doing work on maybe the flat above me or the flat below me or just in the building in general. And because the other residents that live here are refusing to move out so the work can actually be commenced on their flats, there is no kind of rush to get us back here. So it's a long-term project. It's something that we're gonna be doing over the course of this year. I have said, obviously, in many, many vlogs that I would love to get a house, and that is something that we are currently saving for. But there are lots of other really exciting and amazing things that I've got in the works that I can't really reveal in the vlogs just yet. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you're hitting the subscribe button because I have got some crazy cool adventures coming up in the future. Uh, stuff like staying on top of a mountain in, 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 a, in a tent, which is going to be exciting on its own, exploring Scotland we're talking about potentially going over to Vietnam which would be absolutely amazing if we can get that happening but there is lots of stuff to work out before we can move back into this place oh uh, man it has to be said I actually really love this camera. If you like the quality of that camera and you think I should use it more in the vlogs, then please do let me know in the comments down below and I will actually start filming with it a lot more. But I think it's time to zip back over to the house uh, because I believe my family is on their way home. And introducing my son, this is Benjamin. Do you want to say hi? Hi. Where have you been? Too soft play to get pizza. You got some pizza from the soft play? Wow. Did you have fun? Yeah. Do you want to go again? Yeah. And sleep at Alex's house? Yeah, because I did it last week. Did you have lots of chocolate and sweeties? But I had, had a picnic where we was having a sweet over. Oh, okay. Well, you can go as much as you like. Anyways, it is that time of the day we're winding down. The family is playing Disney Dreamlight, which means it's time for me to go into the fridge and get myself a beer. Because whilst everyone else is doing dry January, I still like to have a couple of beers on the weekend. So I think I'm going to chill out, relax and enjoy a drink. But not before we fire up the office and get some editing done. Either way, before I wrap up this vlog, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who has come to my channel and found me from the YouTube like trending page. I honestly still can't believe that I received that email that said I was a creator on the rise. I'm just me and my family just filming what we get up to and uh, and you guys just seem to enjoy it and watch along. So thank you so much. Everyone who has been watching and supporting the content, it genuinely wouldn't be possible without you. We are actually so, so close to 20,000 subscribers. As I record this video, we are only 12 away. How mad is that? For those people who didn't know, originally this channel was a gaming channel that I grew to 10,000 subscribers about 11 years ago uh, when I used to be a part of like Machinima and I used to make lots of Call of Duty and Minecraft videos. And I did a complete flip and turned it into a vlogging channel and we have gained 10,000 subscribers in the last like two years since I've started doing it. Uh, I, and honestly, I love it so much. A special shout out to all the people who used to watch me play Black Ops back in 2011. Oh my days. It's actually, it, it's 13 year anniversary soon. 13 years since I posted my first video on this channel. <sighs> Man, I'm old. Let's uh, close that one, shall we? But I suppose it's a very good time to let you guys know that I am actually posting gaming content. It's just on my other channel. You can check the link out in the description below and go subscribe over there. I'll be posting a variety of different games, whatever I'm kind of into at the moment because it is just a hobby. It's not something that I'm actively pursuing. I just love playing games and sharing those memories with the people who watch them. I am currently playing through the OG Final Fantasy VII, but there's GTA in there, lots of different variety of games coming soon. And if you're someone who likes editing and wants to learn more, I know I get a lot of questions about that. Make sure you do check out the shorts when I post them because I'm going to be making shorts uh, on little, little tips here and there about vlogging and about editing and stuff like that. And that's primarily where I'm gonna post that kind of content. So keep your eyes peeled for the shorts. But anyway, that's enough of the shameless promotion. It is time for me to relax for the day and, uh, and say goodbye to you. So thank you so much for watching. I genuinely do appreciate it. I know I keep saying it and it's probably gonna start sounding a little redundant, but I, I do really mean it, you guys. <sighs> 
it's almost like it's changed my life. Vlogging has actually changed my life. Like I've done so many things because I vlog and it, I wouldn't keep doing it if it wasn't for you guys supporting the content and continuously pushing me in the right direction. So thank you again. Uh, but as always, guys, it's been Orion. I love you very much. Hope to see you in the next vlog where we're going to be commencing the work on the flat. But yeah, peace, peace, much love. Bye-bye.